Hello from aboard Manakai. Today, on this lovely morning, we are finally able to drop our anchor and rest at our destination, St. Pierre. This petite town lays on the spectacular Caribbean coast at the foot of the volcano Mount Pelé and is a part of Martinique, the French island so popular among cruisers and travelers. All our life is about experiences and sailing life offers plenty of them. Today we spend some time next to Hamburg Whale that came out to the surface for breathing and playing. It was just amazing. It was swimming around our dinghy, showing its huge tail and back. It was at St. Pierre that the first French settlers landed in 1635 and initiated rapid exploration of tobacco, cacao, and then sugar, and finally the slave trade. The city develops and becomes the economic and administrative capital of Martinique. It not only was the thriving capital city of Martinique, St. Pierre was known as the Paris of the New World. Nowadays, the locals mostly rely on fishing and agriculture for their income. Every city tells a tale, and St. Pierre does not prevail. Behind beauty you will find cruelty that scares the mind. Please take care of where you step, because it is here that you will keep. Horrors and delight alike as through the city you do hike. Imagine that beautiful Assyrian Bay is a boiling cauldron of death. It's hard to believe, but that was the case during the 19th second eruption of Mount Pelé on the island of Martinique. Hot magma rising from the Earth's core and a pyroclastic flow speeding down from Mount Pili left nowhere to run. It was a tremendous tragedy costing the lives of over 30,000 residents in under two minutes. Even a hundred years later, legends still say that the eruption that killed almost 30,000 people was caused by a curse that had been spoken with the dying breath of a native Carib. To learn more about St. Pierre, head to the Frank Perret Volcanological Museum, founded in 1932. With a collection of photographs, objects, archives and other documents, you can learn all about the town's history before, during and after the dramatic eruption. St. Pierre was known as the Paris of the New World until 1902. On Thursday, May 8, 192, the first alarms, ashes of ashes, were not taken into account by the authorities 
to trigger an evacuation. Mount Pili erupted, unleashing a tremendous force thousands of times greater than Hiroshima. In the course of a few short minutes, an infernal blast of hot gas and volcanic debris obliterated St. Pierre. Moments later, all but a handful of its nearly 30,000 residents were dead. For days afterwards, St. Pierre burned. Ships in the harbor smoldered and sank. When rescuers eventually did enter the ruins, they pulled from a jail cell the most famous survivor of the disaster, Louis Augustin Kivaris. It was the third most violent eruption in the history of mankind and the greatest in living memory. St. Pierre's most impressive ruins are those of the town's 18th century theater. First, we climb the stairs to the hallways and stage. There isn't too much to see here, but it is a sobering reminder of the power of Mother Nature. While most of it was destroyed in the 19th second eruption of Mount Pelé, enough remains to give a sense of the building's former grandeur. It once seated 800 and hosted seated troops from mainland France. At the back of the theater, on the left, you look down on more ruins that surround the famed jail cell. The story of larger silveries is so outlandish and astonishing that it is difficult to believe that it is true. In fact, his story was so amazing that Barnum and Bailey hired him to travel with the circus not because he had an act, but because he was a sort of relic. Arrested only the night before, police threw the prisoner into solitary confinement, a tiny half underground cell with no windows and only a very narrow slit in the door facing out to see. As turned out, the six stone walls of the cell were able to keep him more or less safe. Burned, he was found four days after the eruption. If you want to spend a beautiful evening, go to the zoo of Martinique. You won't be disappointed. The place was historical. Before turning into the zoo, there were the oldest plantation on the island. As you walk, you will see a lot of ruins and can easily imagine the life of 16th century plantation. The mansion, the ornamental basin, the stable, the old distillery, the mill mechanism and many more.
A black sand beach runs along the town's waterfront, reflecting relatively recent volcanic activity. While the charming St. Pierre Harbor is equally popular among yachting enthusiasts and passing tourists, it is also of great interest to divers with its many shipwrecks which sank to the seabed on the day of the great volcanic eruption. Beyond the years, the city of St. Pierre retains traces of the terrible eruption of Mount Pelée in 1970. The entire town, destroyed by the volcano, was partially rebuilt on the ruins. These ruins have either served as foundations for houses, or they are still visible in the current landscape. Visiting the ruins of St. Pierre has been improved in recent years with the introduction of a label indicating the name of the buildings that was built before the terrible catastrophe. But I love this picture. We touch, we break, make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we have. Да, вот это психушка. Да, вы не запугайтесь, там вот один для мыльных, а в том парке Вот к этим стульям привязываем. К этим стульям привязываем. Это длинный для еще более-менее в меня. Для меня это кладка, конечно, для меня это кладка. Жуткое местечко какое. A new town has been built among the ruins, and so St. Pierre is once again a living city. Also, it has never regained the importance it had before the eruption. Today, St. Pierre, being a small town with a few streets, is principally a tourist center with shops and restaurants of every variety. There are only about 5,000 residents live here who rely on fishing and agriculture for living. Aside of its terribly unfortunate past and feeling that the town is full of miserable hosts of buried alive victims that is, was rebuilt on the bones, it is one of the places of interest worth exploring while visiting Martinique. The Cathedral of St. Pierre, officially called Our Lady of the Safe Port, 
is very close to the municipal dock in St. Pierre. The church was actually once known as the Pirates Church, having been built in the 18th century with contribution from pirates. century of research and the police history dating back millennia has revealed the mountain can be violent and unpredictable, exhibiting many different eruptive styles of different time scales. Still, the 19th second eruption stands out for its sheer ferocity and the magnitude of the tragedy is produced. It ranks as the deadliest volcanic disaster of the 20th century and the third deadliest in recorded history. We hope that the story will never repeat itself again. Thanks for watching! Like, subscribe, follow our adventure above and below the sea!